In this video you will learn how we created the bicycles for the 3D scene. In this case we wanted to create something with a real reference. So the first thing we did, we opened up Pixabay and searched for some reference images for bicycles. This is very helpful because you can see all the proportions and all the tiny details from such a bike. Then we created the rough shape of the bicycle using simple basic objects. One complicated part was to find the right angle for these tubes and for that the reference images were very helpful. Then we started to create all the details. And in this video we'll take a look at the most interesting details we have added to the bike. The spokes on a bicycle wheel are ordered in a very particular way. So we looked at the reference images from the internet and tried to do it exactly like we saw it there. For that we modeled one spoke and then created some symmetrical duplicates. For that it's very helpful to place the origin of the spoke directly on the point where the origin of the wheel is. For the profile of the wheel we have modeled a very small part of it and placed it directly in the middle of the wheel. After that we have added a bezier circle. This we have scaled to the size of the wheel. And after that we've added the array modifier to the profile object. And after that we've also added the curve modifier. And for the curve object we choose the bezier circle. And now we can increase the count value of the array modifier. And you can see now we have the profile all over the whole wheel. In the end we have added a mirror modifier so the profile is also on the other side. For the springs on the saddle we have simply added a circle and using the screw modifier we have shaped this to a spring. Using the screw value you can move it up and down. So basically you can control the distance between the different circles. And using the iteration value you can control how many circles you will have on your spring. For creating the gears I enable under user preferences add-ons the add-on extra objects. After that we can add a gear with shift A mesh gears. And the shape of the gear you can control with the settings in the operator panel. The bicycle chain we have created similar to the profile of the wheel. So at first we have created one chain link and also one curve in the shape of the bicycle chain. And then again we have added to the chain link the array modifier and also the curve modifier and with the count value of the array modifier we can control how many chain links we want to have. And so we have created the bicycle chain. So that the wheels are looking a little bit more realistic we have added some loop cuts on the edges and so we get these small but very realistic details. And in this way step by step the bicycle was created. After we are done with modeling the whole bike, it's time to clean up the bike just like the robot. That means we join and parent every part together so that everything is moving with each other and also important parts can rotate. After we are done with that, we have duplicated the bike and then changed some parts so that we have created a second bike very fast. So we deleted some parts, some parts are adjusted and also we have changed the color. Yeah, and how we did the materials for the bikes that we'll show you in another video. Now you can see the process to create a model is very similar all the time. We start with a reference or a concept art. The next step is to create a rough model using basic objects according to your reference. And after that, step by step, you add all the details. After that, you join all the parts which can be joined and parent all the parts which have to be parented so that you can move every part in the correct way. And finally, you add all the materials and textures. But as I already said, this we'll show you in another video.